Hi, welcome to another review with me, Jason. Today we're going to be looking at the Lacole by Wiggins Arc Aero Jersey. I believe that this jersey is the same jersey as the McLaren range that Lacole have bought out, and it's also the exact same as the Pro Fit jersey that they have, the Pro Aero jersey as well. But I like the style of this one better, that's why I bought it. The size is actually a size small, not what I was expecting, but that's what they recommended to me on the website, and as it came, I tried it on, and the size small was actually a good fit. I'm normally a size medium. My measurements are I have a 39 inch chest, and I'm nearly six foot four tall, six foot three and a half or so. So this is how it looks on me for my kind of height. If you're also tall, you can get it as a good gauge for how it fits on you as well. The fit, when I'm standing up, I think it fits really well, looks really good. However, when I come onto the bike, it actually starts to crease up a little bit more on the, on the belly area. Um, I'm not sure how that affects any kind of aerodynamics and stuff like that but uh, not what usually happens to me on the bike with most jerseys. Hi, welcome to Mallorca, just outside the city of Parma. And uh, I would like to do a little update on the jersey. So previously I just said that the belly creases when I'm on the bike, and actually it doesn't. I'd only really looked at it when I've just sat on the bike inside or not moving. But actually sitting on the bike, moving, it doesn't crease at all, so actually, I would like to retract my previous statement. What about the comfort? So I actually think this is a really comfortable jersey. When it's on, never really think about it, just as most high-end jerseys that you can buy. I really like the long sleeves, and I don't actually notice any of the stitching around here bugging me or irritating me ever at all, so I think they've done quite well on that. Because of the weather that we've had here in the UK, we haven't really had any hot days like this entire summer. It's literally been the most gloomy summer we've ever had. But in terms of breathability, I think it's pretty breathable. You can feel the breeze, especially when it starts to pick up. It does start to come through the jersey a bit more, especially if it's a cooler breeze, you do actually notice it coming through the jersey. So I would say that the breathability is good from initial reviews, but, but um, I don't think I'll have to test it in some hotter weather to really test if it is more breathable. And, uh... A second update, I would say, you know, it's like 32 degrees here, pretty humid today. And when you get to the big climbs, you actually bake on those. It gets up to about 35 degrees. So it's a little bit hotter. And I think this jersey does suffer a bit there. But it's breezy at the moment, so I'm surviving okay. But yeah, when you get to the hills, you bake a little bit in the jersey. In the UK, I wouldn't think it's a problem at all, ever. So if you're buying this from England, I'll, I'll be happy to wear this any day of the week. The only thing I don't like as much about the comfort is probably the silicone grippers along the arms. Because it's a little bit tight around there, I think I notice it a lot more. And it's also quite a thick area for the silicone to be on. When I'm riding, once again, it's not something I ever think about. And it never ever rides up, so it is actually enough silicone to keep the jersey down the arm. But it's just something I notice when I put the jersey on first thing. What's the function of this jersey? Well, it says it's an aero jersey. With the, uh, with the ribbed appearance here, I think it looks like an aero jersey, definitely. I've, I've never tested it myself if it is actually any quicker than a normal jersey. I would probably recommend this jersey for more warmer weather, not overly extreme hot, so I wouldn't go anything below 18, 20 degrees Celsius with this jersey, and I probably wouldn't cycle in it above like 32, 33 degrees Celsius just because it does seem a little bit thicker in certain areas. Um, there are other more breathable jerseys if it gets really hot, I think. The zip pocket back here, it actually looks and feels really small for my hand, but it fits my iPhone just fine. I have an iPhone 7. I'm sure some of you with bigger phones, though, will struggle a bit more to get your phone into this zip pocket if you want to protect it a bit more. But other than that, the rest of the pockets, easy to access, no problem. And I think they hold gels, phone, keys, just fine. There are two things that I really like about this jersey. The first one is that I really like the style of it. I, I like the kind of green and gold colored together. It, it's really nice. That's the main reason why I bought this one over the other aero jerseys that Nicole have to offer. The second thing that I like about this jersey is that it looks really aerodynamic. So I think when you get on the bike, it makes you feel more aerodynamic because it's got these 
ribs and ripples here, it feels like it's going to trip the air around your body, help it flow a bit quicker. Whether that's true or not, I'm not sure, but it looks fast. There are only two things that I don't that I don't like or that I'm not so sure about this jersey. The first one is why the number 13 is upside down on the pocket here. Is it because some riders or cyclists flip their race number when they've got number 13 or they flip one of their race numbers as you can see on this picture here? Because of superstition? I'm not very I'm not a very superstitious man, so it doesn't bother me. I think the 13 should just be the right way around. Also, the upside down number 13 has actually grown on me a lot. I think I like the look of it now. It almost looks quite traditional, very cyclist, so I'm enjoying that. I take back my initial comments on that one as well. And the second thing that I'm not so sure about is the, the grippers on the arms. They're a little bit thick, they're a bit rougher. They're a bit rougher than the silicon around the base here. So it does grip very well around the base of the arm. Like I said, I can just feel it when I initially put the jersey on that it's a bit rougher just around that area. But like I said, when I'm going, when I'm cycling, I don't really notice it at all. This jersey cost me £95 in the Rafa sale. They had a bit of money off for this one. They, uh, they also have a white one, but unfortunately, at this current moment of time, it's completely sold out, you can't buy it. So this is the last one left, but that means that less people have this one, so it makes it more obvious or makes it stand out a bit more. In conclusion, I really, really like this jersey. I love the style, how it looks. They're my kind of colours. That's the main reason why I bought it. It's probably the main reason why I buy all of my jerseys. But uh, there are a few things, a few quirks with it that I would say, like the, the, uh, the number 13, the grippers on the elbows, on the arms there. But all in all, cracking jersey, and I, and I would recommend it.